Hello everybody. Have you lost your Android key store file or you lost its password or your hard disk just got burned or any shit happened or your the whole house go, go, got burned and uh, you also got burned. No, that, that doesn't happen. I know. So today in this video, I will show you how you can get your key store file resetted and, and how you can get your app updated. Keep watching. So guys, this was my app and I lost my key store file due to some shit happened. Okay, uh, just don't care about it. And uh, just make sure you have app sign in enabled. So just click here and you can see that I have app sign in by Google Play. So what this does is that Google manages your key store file in their server so that if you if you lost your key store, they can help you reset it. So let me walk you through the process how I resetted it. So here is the option uh, where you can request key upgrade. So just click on it. Like I have lost the key store. Like you can just click here and just click on contact support. So here you will have to fill this form uh, just fill it and type all these details and developer account ID you can find it uh, where it was somewhere else let me show you so it was in the settings developer account account details so this is the developer account ID which you need to paste here and just type your location and all the also type your app name here and your application package name which you will definitely know from here so this is the package name which i need to reset and i need i have a key or key re, key related issue and i have an upload key related uh, upgrade related issue and now you just click on do you want to generate a new app signing key and do you want to provide your own app signing key so just click on any of this just and just click on this one and uh, just write it here like what's the issue what happened like you lost it and one more thing which i did is that like uh, i went to this app sign in here is app sign in and I downloaded my upload key certificate from here and I attached it here and then I just submitted. Okay. And after within one day, I got a reply from Google play. Uh, like they were saying, like we help you like send tickets and blah, blah, blah. So now like he, sent me the instruction so let me read you that how do you follow this instruction so these are all like he's telling like he's happy to help me and now what i need to do is that i need to generate a new key so i just need to copy this command all right so let's copy it i will show you right here and let's go somewhere uh, lscd documents Android apps. Okay, so this is my folder. All right, let me just paste this command. This is the command and let's allow it. Okay, so you can add a password, key store password, uh, type whatever your password you want, first name, whatever. You can just fill this out and just type yes and uh, enter key for upload return same as like uh, just type the same password which you typed earlier and hit enter re-enter new password they don't match what the hell one two three four five six seven eight okay one two three four five six seven eight okay so they are saying like it is recommended if you don't do it's no problem and if you will check here i have a jsk file and now what's the other thing i need to do is that i need to export this in a pem format uh, so let's copy this another command here so let's just type this and just type the password which you typed 
already so now we will also have this upload certificate dot pem and we will use this key store dot jsk to sign our app and here we have this upload certificate dot pem and what i eventually did is that like i uh, uploaded it here and i emailed it back all right and now let me try to upload the it into the app so now let's open the android studio so here is my sql playground app so now i can just go to this build generate signed or bundled apk okay okay now let's uh, generate a android app bundle click on next and now you will have to choose existing your whatever the key store you added so just browse it and just go to this jsk all right and now what we need to do is that we need to add a password and in the alias you will have to just select this upload okay and i have just remember and just click on next and we will release it finish and let it finish guys our build has been finished and make sure that you increment the version code and version name before trying to upload your app i know you guys are smart and now let's just locate the app this is our aab file let's check its size and it's 19 mb okay that's very very bad and which google is going to shrink it and now let's go to i have went to this internal testing and i have like untitled release let's discard it okay remove it now let's create a new release create a new release okay and now we will upload the apk here and just make sure it takes two days before the, after the after they update your keys it uh, it just takes two days uh, like they have uh, given the time that new key will be usable from this 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 you see time and i am uh, updating this app after two days now let's drag this a b file here successfully uploaded my apk file and now i can just do all this short of stuffs and save it review it and do whatever i want and i can just review the release or just do whatever i want this is it for this video guys if you found it helpful make sure you like it and if you are new consider subscribing and also follow me on instagram and you can support me on patreon thanks for watching